Welcome back everybody, it's your boy Mark and today I have these two beautiful deck boxes. The one on my right is the Ultimate Guard and the one on my left is the Card Guardian. Now this beautifully made crafted Commander deck box, I have to say it is a beautiful, beautiful box inside. I, I have opened it but now I want to open it to, to the public on, on video. This is the hard to find deck box. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't even know they made a hundred card deck box. I thought it was only 80, but they made a hundred card deck box, the uh, 2020 edition. The one on my left is the premium card deck box from uh, Card Guardian. Now this box is identical to the Ultimate Guard, but it is a lot less. This one you can find on Amazon. I believe you can find it for $16.99. While this one came out, as you can see, 2020, uh, it came and left the same year. Sold out, hard to find. This one I believe is very hard to find because honestly, I was doing my research and I just kept finding the um, Ultimate Guard 80 uh, Xeno Skin Death Box. Um, and I still were also sold out, but I didn't see no images or any advertisement that they had made 100. So to find one, I believe I found this one on Amazon and it was used and it was only one. I think that listing appeared within 24 hours because during my research, I was buying these boxes. I could not find this one. I was only finding the 8080, but they were sold out. And then one day later, two days later, I came when I did my research again, I found this freshly listed under the used section. I went ahead and bought it. I paid about $39.99 for this used box. Uh, this one was $16.99, but this on the market can go for pretty much pretty penny. So let's go ahead and let's open them up and let's see if we can compare them, why one is expensive, why one is more hard to find, and which one you should go with. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, product packaging. I came from high school of art and design four years I was studying commercial art and advertising designing then I went to college for advertising designing and product labeling um, excuse me product designing and so growing into this type of education each time I buy any product I always look at the labeling the product design the packaging design just because it's just my curiosity I'm interested in stuff like that so when I look at these two boxes I have to understand one is more valuable than the other I need to know why is it because of the color? It cannot be the color because they're both the same. Black on black exterior with red interior. Maybe is it because of the packaging design? And that's what I'm gonna take a look at here. So right now what we're looking at, let's go ahead and start with the Ultimate Guard on just the front cover of the, uh, of the packaging. Now, as I'm looking at here, they both have three colors, black on black, silver, silver, orange, and red. Now, red is more bright, it's more attractive, but there is more information on this side than I see here. They both tell me that there's a hundred card, this is a hundred card deck box, as well as this one, a hundred plus, a hundred plus. Awesome. The information on this box tells me it's an exclusive 2020 edition, as well as the material this box has, Xeno skin. This one does not tell me that. I'm gonna give it a benefit of doubt right here just because there's maybe more information on the other side than the other. But let's go ahead and move forward. I'm not going to give any points here. I'm just reviewing um, what I see. Let's go on the top angle. The top angle, plain black. This has black, but also has another color, silver. It gives me the information as well that this is an ultimate guard. It's a 2020 exclusive edition and tells me the model with the information of the deck box and the material. Another thing I do would like to note on this box, this box is just plain paper, the same material as this box here, but this one has a different material, it's plastic, but it's a plus. But again, I'm not trying to give points, but it is cool that this is different from, from itself, from its product, seeing how it, it is paper product, but it has a plastic, just to give it its own character. Let's go ahead and just turn this around, and let's flip it over. This is where all the information should be on a box. If you're looking at the product designing, the packaging labeling, the back of the box of the packaging always should have the information that's needed. 
This one tells me the features of it, tells me what you're getting, what it can do. This one doesn't tell me in English, it does tell me in different languages, but that's fine. Maybe there's another angle or another side that tells me that information in English. So let's not get carried away here. I won't give nobody any points or deduct any points. Let's flip it over here. This one has its logo and this one has a lot of information. Um, beautifully designed layout. Again, many color tones here, black, red, silver. This is just black, white, and a little bit of orange to show its logo. It does have a design layout right here. Now let's look at the bottom of it. Okay, more information on the uh, Ultimate Guard. Not that much information on the uh, Card Guardian. But let's go ahead with the last angle, and it's this angle right here. Again, this information you can see on the other side, as opposed to this information you do not see on this side. It has more information and a small font right there. And this one does not. One thing I do want to know, look that even there's information right there. Thank you for your purchase. That's awesome. Again, all this, I do product designing on my products that I sell online. And when you have a supplier, or you're speaking with your designers to make your packaging, it costs money to put all this information, including the color. All these tones of color does cost money. So for them to have it in every single side of the box, including the, the box, the, the window, the way they have it here, all this is money. This is generic. This is not. So I have to give that a big plus here. That, that color tone, that chrome that you see there, there you go, that reflection, that's money. So for them to do this, I'm sure they paid a pretty penny just for this box design and then to get the color of this box. So kudos to um, Ultimate Guard for that. Very nice packaging. This is more of a generic, but again, we're gonna go, when you're purchasing a product, you don't really care about the box, you just want the item, you want the product to be as superb to your liking. You wanna make sure that you're paying for your your product that you enjoy, that you know you're gonna have for a very long time. You don't wanna pay, overpay for something that you know is going to get damaged uh, in a short time. So let's go ahead and let's open these two up. Uh, as I'm looking at both of them, they are very, very identical. So again, you're paying a pretty penny for this box. You're not paying as much, but the box itself is, is okay. Again, you're not really, you don't really care for this box. Excuse me, if you appreciate art and you like to keep all your stuff in great condition, then most likely you will be keeping this box. That's how I do it. I like to keep everything in its original packaging design uh let's go ahead i'm looking at these two and they look identical they look identical in color there's no off black no matte black it same color tone as i'm looking at the stitching they look the same again we're just looking at the color and the quality of the stitching I'm putting them side by side. This angle, can you tell which is which? I may pause this video and play around with your eyes to see if you guys can tell, but they do look identical. Maybe, maybe just on the ultimate guard there's a little darker in black, just a little bit. Maybe it's the light, the angle, but let's not get carried away here. 
This is the top of the box. Now, as I'm looking at the top of the box, I do see their, their font, their logo, and information on what type of edition you're getting. This is the 2020, so you already know you're getting it with black exterior with the murder red interior. This one has its logo, does not have any other information, just is nice, it's a nice logo, I have to admit, it's very nice. Let's look at the, uh, at the color now. We're looking at the color and I, it seems identical. I'm gonna take the camera and get more of a closer look, but I just wanna keep the camera at bay so I can use both of my hands. Uh, both of them come with the silicone gel. This one comes with the thank you note. It's thanking you many times. It thanks you here. The ultimate guard thanks you here. And it also thanks you here. Okay. I guess they appreciate their customers. Awesome, that's great to see. You don't have they don't have to write any of this. They choose to do so. Okay. Now let's look at the murder red velvet fabric material. Oops. This to me looks the same, but I want to get into a closer look on the stitching. Now the stitching I can see here on the ultimate guard, this one right here, the stitching is red as opposed to this one. It may be red, but I just think it's a little darker. It could be black, but it could be a dark red stitching. I think it is dark red. I'm looking at it. Yeah. As you can see there. Well, either way, this one has its logo as this one only has its font. But then again, I think Ultimate Guard doesn't use the other logo as it used to. I believe it was the one with the swords. It was kind of like a figure with swords. Now they're just using the actual logo font. Okay, now I'm only right now making a video on the product. I am not putting cards in. I may do that in a bit, but right now I just want to look and see what is the difference between the box itself and looks. Now the font right here, I give this a 10 out of 10. I'm sorry, Card Guardian, your font, your logo here, I don't know. I made that in another video. I don't like this. There's something about it. When I, when I look at your packaging, boom, that's beautiful. When I turn it around, it feels this doesn't belong here. It just doesn't. Maybe if Card Guardian was like right here, Card Guardian, that's it. And something else was here, maybe a smaller logo right there of your Knight with Shield, maybe right here instead of Card, I don't know. I just don't like this. Maybe it's the font itself that I don't like, but to me it looks, I wanna say the word, but it just doesn't belong there. Okay, uh, I brought a ruler with me just because I wanted to take measurements of it. This ruler measures in inches, centimeters, and millimeters. Let's go ahead and let's measure this in inches. Okay, let's do it this way. This is about three inches and a half. This one is three inches and a half. Three. Okay, I don't know which one is which. I'm gonna leave it here and see if you guys can see which one is which just by looking at the bottom of the box, okay? You think this is Ultimate Guard? I don't even know right now, let's see. Ultimate Guard? Nope, Card Guardian. There you go, you cannot tell the material Mm. You know what it is? This one does have a slight color change, just very slightly, maybe one half shade darker than the Card Guardian. 
this is what I wanted to do from there two and three fourth or just slightly two and three fourth and this one oh no so the box inside the card guardian is slightly bigger than the interior of the ultimate guard yeah all right so now we're gonna do the shake test i'm gonna take my sliver deck here and i'm just gonna put it in the uh let's go ahead and just put it on the ultimate guard and put my sliver card on there okay so there's still space this is a hundred card this is semi double sleeve uh I believe what's not double sleeve are the lands, but that's okay. Now, yeah, because I do want to use the exact same cards in Card Guardian. I don't want to put another deck because the other deck might have all double sleeve, so it won't be fair for the Ultimate Card or the Card Guardian. So we're going to use the same cards in this deck box, and we're going to put it and transfer it to the Card Guardian. So let's go ahead with the Ultimate Guard, and let's see if, the shape test works and let's see if this ultimate guard uh, cards inside do not fall. Let's go ahead, just give it a light push right now. Then we're gonna go ahead and go with the ultimate rush. And you know that ultimate rush. Okay, so far, so good. Here we go, ultimate rush, one, two, three. That's the ultimate rush. Okay, I only want to do it once. Don't want to do it again. Okay. okay. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the card guardian. Same cards, same deck. Now this is going into the Card Guardian deck box. And let's go ahead and just softly Ultimate rush in one, two, three. Oh, oh, card guardian, what's going on? You did it. All right, let's do that again. One, two, and three. Oh, okay. But still, um, card guardian, I believe you are just slightly stronger in the magnetic. Than the ultimate guard. Under further inspection, I do want to note 
on the uh, card guardian look at the red corner right there and now look at the ultimate card the corner right there maybe it's just one side but let's go ahead and flip it over Now let's go ahead and flip this over. Just something I wanted to know. All right, everyone, so this is the final review, my honest review on these two products. I'm gonna give it a number, and then I'm gonna give the reason why I'm giving it that specific number. I'm giving this Ultimate Guard a nine, and I'm giving this Premium Card Deck Box an eight. Why am I giving this a nine and not a 10? I'm giving this a nine because they know they can remake these and make more of them, but they're only made it exclusive so whatever amount that they had and sold they are no longer making anymore so now the price the market for this has gone up um i paid used 39.99 on the second market you can buy these now for like 60 bucks again you're paying 60 50 even 40 like i did used maybe a brand new it's got brand new deck box is going to come out uh, the same edition 2020, but someone's going to have a new one unopened and they're going to put it in the secondary market and they're going to sell it for like $80, maybe $100. Someone's going to buy it. Why? Because FOMO. They want it. They missed out in 2020. They want that black red version. They want it from that brand. This brand knows they could remake these. They choose not to. And that is the reason why people are going to pay a lot of money for these. I'm giving this a nine because it is beautifully made. It is designed beautifully the designers at ultimate guard who made this box kudos great job i give the design on this box a 10 out of 10 because on this size of box they put a lot of information they didn't have to go with this plastic but they did so all that information that you need from different languages are here their contact information the where it's made china i'm going to talk about that in a bit germany their designers the uh, the people who uh, created this designed this product is from from that country okay awesome kudos great job dudes but now i'm giving this an eight not a six not a five not a three i'm giving this a solid eight why an eight because they this company is continue to make these specific colored deck boxes same material this company on Amazon is selling this and hasn't changed. They're selling it for $16.99. They have close to a thousand uh, reviews, if not reviews, rating. They have close to five star ratings and uh, almost a thousand people had, give, had given this company that type of rating. So if you look at this company on Amazon, you're gonna see that they have great reviews. Why? First of all, the pricing. The pricing is $16.99. You cannot beat that. I, I wasn't around when this came out, but I'm very sure when this product came out in the market in 2020, it was not $16.99. I'm sure it was like $25 or maybe $30 just because they had added the exclusive edition. But now, that is the reason why I'm giving this an 8 and this a 9. There's something that I want to discuss. I'm in the same business where... I contact suppliers. I have designers in Canada, California. I have suppliers in China, Japan, who makes my products. I give them a file of my design layout. I hire designers. They make me my design. I take that file and then I send it to my suppliers to make my products. Now, this is exactly what I see here. This company from Germany made the design layout of this box, uh, this packaging of the box, the deck box, the item that's inside. They designed it. They had contact a uh, Chinese source supplier to make it for them. They did it, great job. Now that same supplier who makes this deck box that's inside 
is making it for this brand new company. I'm sure this company is no more than three, four years. If it's older, I'm sorry, uh, I may be incorrect, but I know the business pattern of what's going behind it. Now, what this company did is they contacted the supplier to say, hey, can you make me this box? Again, this company cannot use the Xeno Skin trademark or the Sidewinder brand logo. They cannot use any of that. So this company said, here's my logo font. I want it right here. I want my logo box right here. And I want you guys to make these for me at an affordable price. They, that company said, okay, we'll do that. But... Um, upcharge you for any additional things. The company said, well, upcharge me on the logo that's inside the red velvet, the interior with the card guardian inside of it. Um, charge me for that as well because I want my logo on the box. But do not charge me too much on the packaging of this box. I don't care about it. So they just said, all right, we'll just give you the generic design layout um, so you don't have to pay much. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here. This is a basic format that a supplier in China can do for anyone. All you have to do is just give them a down payment, uh, the colors that you want, and this is basic. This is very basic on the design layout, but you can't knock them because they did not spend too much money on the design layout of this package because you're getting the product itself at an affordable price. That's all I have to say. Um, so yeah, if you see these under 40, get them if you're a if you could afford that price, if not, continue buying these. Now, if something happens to this product of mine, I lose it, I break it, or I give this away, and I want more, I'm going with these. All right, everyone, that's my final review, my honest review, and I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button. If you would like to, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me show you.